And now only one place to start. Plenty of Munster contracts signed this week and last week. One of them, R.G. Snyman, the biggest name going in the Munster jersey. You've quoted as calling him a legend, Quinny. I thought legends for clubs were 200 cap men and a couple of Heineken Cup winner men. What do you make it all, Al? Great news for well, Munster? You can still be called a legend and uh, it can be... It can be uh, interpreted in different ways i think um i just you know when you say to your mates you're a legend for something you maybe not mean that uh in in you mean it in a different context i mean what i meant and and people you know i put a tweet up and just saying um that was brilliant loyalty for him he could have easily he could have easily went and and he had plenty of offers people came back replying it's too many to reply to but um saying that um he didn't have any offers and uh it was he had to take the offer from monster that's that's not the case he could easily went to japan he's still a, a a very young man um i know there would be a risk in signing him but um he could easily put stuff uh, clauses in a contract that would um you know protect you around that so he could have easily have left and i just think it's a sign of his character and 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 the type of person he is that he wants to give something back now, one person replied to me saying that um, it's Munster that have shown the loyalty. Of course, of course, they've shown the loyalty. But um, it's incredibly exciting to think what this what this guy, where this guy could get to and how, how good he, we know how good he is and the type of impact he could make. So um, he's been, had just such an unlucky time with injury. And um, I think everyone in World Rugby would love to see um him get back because we don't like to see players get injured and particularly bad injuries like that. So, um, yeah, maybe legend is taking a little bit too far, but um, I just think it's a sign of the guy and uh, it's really good news for Munster.